just wanted to make a quick vlog um, to kind of explain a couple of things for you. Uh, the biggest thing is, um, you know, I, I've had a ton of you respond and send me some really good ideas and ask me questions about YouTube, etc. Um, and I finally did some diving in and I found out that it's not actually YouTube that's making it so hard for small YouTube channels to grow. It's not actually as much of YouTube as I thought. Yes, a year ago they did change the money that we made and pretty much cut it in half, which obviously that was back when I first started. Like if, if they hadn't changed anything from then to now, I would pretty much probably be able to quit my job. Um, easily, pretty much, let's put it that way. But last month I hit 70,000 views, well 69,204, right? Which was my highest month ever. Not a lot of views for most channels get that in a video, right? I'm a small time gaming channel trying to work my way up. Um, and that's an accomplishment for me. Almost, you know what I mean? It, I remember when I got 50,000 views total and it took me forever to get there. Um, so to be able to do that consistently month to month has now been amazing. Um, and that being said, I did some research. And I actually, they have, um, you know, if, you're a, if you have a monetized channel, you can look in your analytics and you can actually find monetized views, okay? Now what monetized views are, just to quickly inform you guys, monetized views are views that people actually watched where the ad ran, which means where you actually, you know, get paid based on those amount of views. And what's really, really weird, okay, is the last month where I had my highest views ever, the 69,000, I had one of my lowest monetized view months ever. And the reason is is because of ad blocker. And a lot of you guys, I understand that, you know, you don't like watching ads. I get it. Like, you don't want to see them. You just want to watch your video and be done with it. You don't care about the commercial playing in front of it. But let me explain something to you. Every time you use ad blocker, you are strangling a smaller YouTube channel. You really are. There is no way in hell that any of us are going to ever be able to make it um, with any kind of consistency. And, and there's a lot of smaller channels out, out there, guys, be, that are way better than mine and that have so much great content. And there's so many people out there who have so many passions about their, about their channel and what they're doing. And so I encourage you, if you do have other smaller channels, you know, just turn that shit off because it's literally destroying um, the small the small time up and coming channels on YouTube. It literally is destroying them. They cannot make enough money to justify the hours and hours and hours and hours and hours it takes to try to build a channel, okay? Um, to give you an example, last month out of the 69,000 views, less than 18,000 were monetized views. That means that, what? Well, I don't even want to know. That's over 60% of my views I didn't get any credit for because of ad blocker. Like, that's insanity. That is insanity. It was at, like, 20, 30, 40%, and now ad blocker is becoming more and more popular. And what's happening is now YouTubers are not able to make shit. Um, our money continues to go down. Our monetized views, whether our normal views are going up, my monetized views have always remained about here. Like, it's a very small, fluctuating wave. Um, and so I'm just, I'm, I'm asking you guys to understand that if you are trying to support YouTubers, it's not YouTube that you're screwing by not watching the ads, okay? Because YouTube only pays based on monetized views. That's how they attract bigger companies. That's how they attract these commercials. That's how they attract people who are looking to advertise on YouTube is these advertisers want to know, well, how many views am I getting? How many people are actually watching my ads? Well, YouTube can track that. And the problem is, is those numbers are going down and down and down, which is why our payouts are going down and down and down and down. So what you need to understand is that if you're truly supporting your YouTuber and you're going to sit down for 5 or 10 or 15 minutes and watch a YouTube video anyway, if you're going to take the time to watch the video, turn off the ad blocker. There's no reason because if you if you have that free time so to where you say okay I'm gonna watch you know I'm gonna watch his watch Nash's newest video on I don't know the Arcane Mage whatever 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 okay I want to watch this video well I don't care you know he, he put a lot of time into this I support Nash's channel I do everything I can to support him 
but I, I can't take 30 seconds to just uninstall ad blocker guys you can ad blocker is not necessary I've never used ad blocker one time and if I'm gonna sit down and watch YouTube videos there's times where I'll even just let the whole ad play out um, I'll help out those guys because I know how it works but again I'm in the know of the systems a lot of you just don't understand how it works um, so I encourage you to try to get rid of that ad blocker is one of those things you know I'm not saying you have to go through and click on ads and like you know try to scumbag money for your youtuber like that's not important that's not what I'm asking you to do all I'm all I'm trying to do is convey the message of how ad blocker is strangling the smaller YouTube channels because so many people are using it and we don't get paid when they use it we only get paid for the ads right that's the only way we get paid is for the advertisement think of it from any business standpoint if you if you called Google and said hey this is my business I want to run this commercial you know this many times how much does that cost on Google and how many people am I actually um, you know having view my thing having view my commercial having view my company you know what are your analytics for that well they can sit down and show you and the problem is the analytics are going down which means their cost is going down which means the companies who run commercials are going down which in turn means that the money that we make is going down it's all relative guys so if you really want to support your youtubers remember that yeah while we might well, Google might piss us off and do stupid shit, and YouTube has not handled everything correctly, and I'm not trying to defend YouTube. Trust me, I'm as angry at them for some of the things that they've been doing as everybody else, but this one is not necessarily their fault, guys. This one actually falls on us, the viewers. The viewers are the ones who are actually directly impacting the ability for some of these YouTubers to continue to do what they love to do. The reason that guys like Swifty have to move out of his gaming house the reason that Mercator is struggling so hard trying to get views is because of ad blocker if you guys just turn that off these guys who who I know I've looked up to and I love their content um, these guys would have no problem being able to continue to bring you more and more and better and better content they would be able to upgrade their systems they would be able to afford their bills without having to you know work second third fourth jobs um, you know and then the other thing you're going to cultivate is a culture of smaller gaming channels okay you're gonna cultivate that culture because what you're gonna have is you're gonna have these starting out channels who if they consistently stick with it and they consistently try to work their butt off and bring good content and enjoyable content as they see their views and their subscriber base build they will see the monetary value in it and they will continue to want to keep going it's that carrot dangling on the stick you have to want it but you have to go after it too and it gets very very discouraging sometimes when you break all these records you're like oh my god I had such a good month and then you look at your Google Adsense and it's terrible it's 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 half of what it was the month before and you had 15,000 more views that's what happened to me from December to January December was one of my best months ever and then I blew that out of the water I had another 80% I had what well it would be 15,000 minus 50,000 you guys do the math on that that's how much higher views I had I went from 52,000 to 69,000 and I made half the money that I made in December because of ad blocker because my monetized views were lower than my 50,000 a month views significantly lower and that's ad blocker that's nothing else guys like I don't know if you understand that so I just wanted to make this video just to kind of clarify that to a couple uh, you know t to the masses to the general people who you know I know you guys don't do it on purpose and I know everybody who watches my videos tends to support me um, you know there is that one prick who dislikes every single one of my videos but you know what's funny is you still support me because you have to dislike it so jokes on you I guess um, but for the most part guys like that's why the system is so hard and it's so cutthroat right now is because all these monetized views are just dropping and so I encourage you if you are gonna support your youtuber you know help us out 
Help us out by you know turning off ad blocker, by sharing our videos, by helping us get bigger and better and build a good community. I know that that's one of the things that I've always tried to do is build a really good community. Um, and I've always tried to help you guys any way that I can. So I'm just asking for that in return. Um, and I'm not just asking for it for me. I'm asking for it for every single YouTuber that you subscribe to and that you genuinely care about continuing to make content. Now, if you don't care about them continuing to make content, then go ahead throw their ad blocker up, but you might as well just leave it off and just don't watch their shit. Just unsubscribe and don't watch them. But ad blocker for YouTube is really, really starting to show its ugly head to some of the smaller gaming channels and some of the smaller YouTube channels in general. And I know that's not your guys' intention. I know that you guys uh, are trying to support us as best you can. And not everybody can, you know, go out and buy Cellucor products to support my sponsorship. Not everybody you know, has the means to donate to the stream to help me, you know, do different things and do giveaways. I understand that, guys. Trust me, I work two jobs to be broke, okay? I, I put in 15, 16 hour days every day to be broke, but I love what I do and I love every second of my day, and I try to convey that to you guys and be there for you guys as much as I can. So I think in return, um, if you just understand how it works, that ad blocker is the real thing that's really killing a lot of these smaller channels right now, that maybe it'll help. You know, maybe if you just, even if 20% of you turn it off, that's a huge increase, guys. That's that's an extra five, six, seven thousand monetized views. That's a ton to us. That's going to help us so much. If you're looking at a channel like mine, imagine that on channels like Swifty, like Bajira, like Hot, and some of these bigger channels, you know, imagine the difference that that would make to these guys. Um, and be able to help them feel a little bit more comfortable, like they're not constantly treading water because it is difficult. I don't know how they do it. Um, you know, living off that money alone and not knowing every month what you're going to make is insane. Um, it, it, it's constantly a gamble. And so I just wanted to make this video to uh, kind of let you guys know that and kind of get that off my chest because it's been something that's really been... Um, I've been struggling with lately and I finally did the research and figured out why and that's just what it is. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support so far. Um, I hope you continue to watch my videos. I'm going to be bringing you a lot more Diablo 3 uh, content very, very soon. Getting some specs out there for your wizards. Getting some specs out there for some other classes too. So I hope you're ready for that. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.